Welcome to Before the Council, a reading of the Revere City Council agenda for the meeting of Monday, April 8th, 2019. There are 32 items on the agenda this week. Coverage begins at 5 p.m. with the Zoning Subcommittee meeting, chaired by Councillor Anthony T. Zambudo. He's scheduled to be joined by Councillor Jessica A. Giannino, Councillor Patrick M. Keefe, Jr., Councillor Ira Novoselsky, and Councillor Daniel Rizzo. The committee will discuss the following. First, pursuant to Council Order 19-017, this is an ordinance further amending the zoning ordinances of the City of Revere relative to a nine-month moratorium on the granting of special permits for lodging and rooming houses. Favorable Planning Board recommendation is on file, dated March 13, 2019. Dear members, pursuant to Section 17.56.050 of the Revised Revere Zoning Ordinance, the Planning Board, at a special meeting held on March 12, 2019, subsequent to a public hearing on March 12, 2019, voted to favorably recommend that the City Council enact a nine-month moratorium on the granting of special permits for lodging and rooming houses, respectfully signed by Eugene McKenna, the chair of the Revere Planning Board. Second, pursuant to Council Order 19-041, this is uh, James S. George on behalf of Extenant of Systems and AT&T Wireless Network Building and Consulting, 100 Apollo Drive, Suite 303, Chelmsford, Massachusetts, 01824, requesting permission from the Revere City Council to install small cell wireless equipment on an existing national grid wood utility distribution pole at the corner of 116 State Road and 4 Unity Avenue in Revere. Dated March 26, 2019, please be advised that the Site Plan Review Committee has reviewed the special permit request for a small cell antenna attachment to an existing electrical pole at number 4 Unity Avenue. The following findings and recommendations have been made with respect to this special permit request. First, to ensure the structural integrity of the antenna attachment, the owner of the telecommunications antenna shall conduct periodic inspections at least once every year by a qualified independent engineer. The results of these inspections shall be provided to the building inspector on an annual basis. Second, the owner of the telecommunications facility shall provide documentation showing that the telecommunications facility is in compliance with all applicable federal and state requirements. Evidence of compliance must be submitted every 12 months to the Department of Inspectional Services. And third, the telecommunications facility attached to an existing pole shall be equipped with an appropriate anti climbing device to prevent unauthorized access. Third, pursuant to Council Order 19-053, Ephesus LLC, Barris Burke Manager, 109 Eustace Street, Revere, Massachusetts, 02151, seeking permission from the Revere City Council to allow the current daycare slash preschool use to be changed to a professional office use on lot number one at number 283 Cushman Avenue in Revere, Massachusetts. Dated March 26, 2019, please be advised that the Site Plan Review Committee has reviewed the aforementioned special permit request for a change of use from daycare to professional office at number 283 Cushman Avenue. The following findings and conditions have been made with respect to this special permit request. First, the plans must be reviewed and approved for fire safety compliance by the fire department. Second, the construction plans must be reviewed and approved by the code consultant, and third, pavement markings shall be used to appropriately mark the parking spaces for both the residential and office use. At 5.45, we move on to the appointments subcommittee meeting chaired by Councillor Jessica A. Janino. Also on the subcommittee, Councillor Patrick M. Keefe, Jr., Councillor Joanne M. McKenna, Councillor Stephen Morabito, and Councillor John F. Powers. The committee will consider the following appointments. First, pursuant to Council Order 19-056, the reappointment of Raffaele Construction of Swampscott as a licensed drain layer. Second, pursuant to Council Order 19-057, the reappointment of ARM Construction of Revere as a licensed drain layer. Third, 
Pursuant to Council Order 19-058, this is regarding the reappointment of Miola Construction of Chelsea as a licensed drain layer. Fourth, pursuant to Council Order 19-059, the appointment of James T. Lynch Construction of Andover, Massachusetts as a licensed drain layer. And fifth, pursuant to Council Order 19-060, the reappointment of McGrath Enterprises of Lynn as a licensed drain layer. In order for an appointment to be Confirmed by the full City Council, the appointee must attend the appointments subcommittee meeting. At 6 o'clock, we have the Revere City Council meeting, which begins with a salute to the flag and calendar item number one, the roll call of members, and calendar item number two, the approval of the journal of the regular meeting held on March 25th, 2019. Calendar item number three, pursuant to Council Order 19-065, this is a joint utility company meeting with Verizon, National Grid, and Comcast to discuss double poll work. Calendar item number four, a public hearing. Pursuant to Council Order 18-036, hearing called as ordered on an ordinance prohibiting the distribution of single-use disposable plastic shopping bags. Calendar item number five, under the Zoning Affairs Subcommittee report, Pursuant to Council Order 19-017, this is an ordinance further amending the zoning ordinances of the City of Revere relative to a nine-month moratorium on the granting of special permits for lodging and rooming houses. Calendar item number six. Pursuant to Council Order 19-041, James S. George, on behalf of Extenet Systems and AT&T Wireless Network Building and Consulting, 100 Apollo Drive, Suite 303, Chelmsford, Massachusetts, 01824. Requesting permission from the Revere City Council to install small cell wireless equipment on an existing national grid wood utility distribution pole at the corner of 116 State Road and 4 Unity Avenue in Revere. Calendar item number 7, pursuant to Council Order 19-053, Ephesus, LLC, Barris Burke, manager, 109 Eustis Street, Revere, Massachusetts, seeking permission from the Revere City Council to allow the current daycare preschool use to be changed to a professional office use on lot number one at number 283 Cushman Avenue in Revere. Calendar item number eight begins the appointment subcommittee report pursuant to Council Order 19-056. This is regarding the reappointment of Raffaele Construction as a licensed drain layer. Calendar item number nine, pursuant to Council Order 19-057. This is regarding the reappointment of ARM construction as a licensed drain layer. Calendar item number 10, pursuant to Council Order 19-058. This is regarding the reappointment of Miola construction as a licensed drain layer. Calendar item number 11, pursuant to Council Order 19-059, this is regarding the appointment of James T. Lynch Construction as a licensed drain layer. And calendar item number 12, pursuant to Council Order 19-060, this is regarding the reappointment of McGrath Enterprises as a licensed drain layer. Next, we have the Rule 23 Committee Reports. The following motions or communications are being reported out of committee with a recommendation that they be placed on file. Calendar item number 13. Pursuant to Council Order 18-382, this regards the motion presented by Councilor Morabito that the mayor be requested to investigate the feasibility of consolidating trash pickup to Monday through Wednesday. Calendar item number 14. Pursuant to Council Order 18-405, this is regarding the motion presented by Councilor McKenna and Councilor Janino, that the city start an organic compost for residents to drop off their organic waste at a designated location. Composting can remove 20 to 50 percent from the household waste stream, reducing the burden on landfills while replenishing lawns, trees, house plants, or gardens for free. Calendar item number 15 under the Rule 23 Committee Reports. Pursuant to Council Order 18-408, this is regarding the motion presented by Councilor Rotundo that the City of Revere look into the feasibility of placing a Marine Corps statue 
on the American Legion building lawn. Calendar item number 16. Pursuant to Council Order 19-066, this is a communication from the mayor regarding the transfer of funds for Curtis Park, dated April 4th, 2019. Dear council members, I am requesting the council to authorize a transfer of $650,000 from the Community Improvement Trust Fund, CIT, for the renovation of Curtis Park. This park, located at the Garfield School, has fallen into disrepair and is in need of significant work. Thank you for your consideration. It is important that we continue our efforts to ensure the residents of our community can enjoy a beautiful recreational space close to home. Regards, Brian M. Arrigo, Mayor. Calendar item number 17, pursuant to Council Order 18-067. This is a communication from the Mayor regarding the Senior Workoff Property Tax Abatement Program. Dated April 4th, 2019, Dear Council Members, I am writing to request the City Council to amend the Revere Revised Ordinances, Chapter 2.88.040, C, Eligibility. The ordinance currently establishes eligible income limits of $45,000 for individuals and $55,000 for married applicants to the Senior Citizen property tax work-off abatement program. The proposed amendment will apply cost of living adjustments to our senior work-off program, enabling more seniors the opportunity for an abatement on their property tax or water bills. The amended ordinance will read, C, in no event shall a person be eligible for this program if such person's income exceeds $73,250 for individual applicants or exceeds $89,500 for married applicants. Income limits will increase by a percentage increase in the U.S. Department of Labor Bureau of Labor Statistics and Consumer Price Index for the previous year, as determined by the Commissioner of Revenue to be effective for exemptions granted for any fiscal year beginning on or after July 1, 2018. Most seniors are on a fixed income, burdened by the rising costs of groceries, medical care, heating bills, and real estate taxes. I am urging the Council to adopt this amendment to provide an additional measure of assistance for more senior citizens. Regards, Brian M. Arrigo, Mayor of the City of Revere. Calendar item number 18, pursuant to Council Order 19-068. This is a communication from the City Auditor relative to the financial overview and budget timeline. Did April 3rd, 2019, dear Council President Guanasso, as you know, budget season is in full swing. The Budget Office is in the process of reviewing all of the Department requests as well as compiling information on revenues expenses, and other relevant items as they relate to the preparation of the FY 2020 operating budget and capital budget. This process will be ongoing over the next six to eight weeks until we present a fiscally responsible and balanced budget for the Council to act upon. I was hoping that you would allow for a brief 10-minute power presentation at the April 8th meeting for an update on the current financial condition of the City as well as an estimated timeline for presenting the FY 2020 budget and related documents. We have also bound complete copies of the FY 2019 operating budget and capital plan for the benefit of the Council. It is our hope that we can retrieve the large binders from last year's budget to reuse for the FY 2020 budget. We encourage all City Councilors to leave any binders from last year's budget with our office for reuse. I will be in attendance at the April 8th Council meeting to present the financial overview and to answer any questions if so allowed. Thank you in advance for your cooperation on this matter. Best regards, Richard Viscay, City Auditor Budget Director for the City of Revere. Calendar item number 19. Pursuant to Council Order 19 069. This is a communication from the Mayor 
relative to a business personal property exemption. Dated April 4th, 2019, Dear City Councilors, I request that the Council adopt Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 59, Section 5, Clause 54, which will allow the City of Revere to create a tax exemption for businesses with personal property valued up to $10,000. While this measure may only produce a modest effect on a business's bottom line, it reflects our continuous effort to keep the tax burden as low as possible for small business in Revere. Thank you for your attention and understanding. Regards, Brian Arrigo, Mayor. Calendar item number 20. Pursuant to Council Order 19-070, this is a communication from the Mayor relative to ETP funds. Dated April 1st, 2019, Dear Council Members, the Educational Technology Program, ETP Committee, has approved the use of ETP expenditures for the attached projects. Therefore, I am writing to request the City Council to approve the appropriations. Regards, Brian M. Arrigo, Mayor. First, Revere TV for $9,995 for Revere TV production switcher for City Hall. This would be an upgrade to the previous standard def switcher that needed to be replaced due to upgrades at City Hall. Also, this would allow Revere TV to cablecast live meetings from City Hall in high definition on the recently awarded HD channels on both RCN and Comcast. Currently, Revere TV is using its remote production switcher at City Hall as an intermediate solution until an upgrade can be acquired. Second, Women Encouraging Empowerment Incorporated, $2,300 for the building of civic participation and educational opportunities through cable TV. Women Encouraging Empowerment, WE, is an organization based in Revere. WE seeks to spread its work and mission to educate, advocate, protect, and advance the rights of immigrants, refugees, and low-income women and their families through organizing leadership development and service delivery. Thus, the main goal of WE's project is to engage cable TV subscribers by providing content through local access TV and programming on Revere TV. We will work towards building a relationship with Revere TV. We will work to schedule interviews with the different programs. We will work with Revere TV to train WE members to learn how to use specific equipment, camera, microphone, computers, etc. Members trained will be able to film and edit events and or trainings to share on local TV. We will develop four public service announcements in different languages to share on local TV. Funding needed, $2,300 for computers, video camera, microphone, speakers, training, interpreter slash translation tools. And finally, Revere Parks and Recreation, $17,465 for Parks and Recreation Technology Upgrade. This project is designed to increase the technology and efficiency of the parks and recreation department, giving us the ability to create video content and programming that will be used not only on our social media channels, but also on our local cable outlet on Revere TV. The scope of the project includes five desktops, three laptops, two iPads, Adobe Primer Elements software, Panasonic camcorder, tripod, GoPro, and accessories. Calendar item number 21. This is a communication from the mayor, pursuant to Council Order 19-071, relative to the Revere School Traffic Supervisors Union Memorandum of Agreement, dated April 3rd, 2019. Dear council members, please find attached the recently signed contract between the City of Revere and the Revere School Traffic Supervisors Union, AFSCME, Council 93, Local 880A. I hereby request an appropriation necessary to fund the cost items contained therein. Calendar item number 22. Pursuant to Council Order 18-082, this is a communication from the Mayor regarding initiatives in support of veterans in the community. Dated April 4th, 2019, dear Council Members, I request that the City Council adopt the following Massachusetts General Law in support of Revere Veterans. Surviving Family Exemption, Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 59, 
Section 5, Clause 22H, allowing an exemption to real estate taxes to the full amount of the taxable valuation of real property of the qualifying surviving parents or guardian of soldiers and sailors, members of the National Guard, and veterans killed in action, missing in action, or who suffered injury or illness that was approximate cause of death. Adopting this section will demonstrate our respect for the parents and guardians of those who made the ultimate sacrifice in the service of the country, while at the same time reducing their financial burdens. Veteran parking space, Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 40, Section 22A and three quarters, a municipality may designate a parking space at the city or town hall for the parking of a veteran in a motor vehicle that is owned and operated by the veteran and that displays a veteran registration plate. Adopting this section will designate a parking space at City Hall and erect a sign, Veteran Parking Only. This space is reserved for those who have served. Unauthorized vehicles may be removed at the owner's expense. Veteran Work Off Program, Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 59, Section 5N, a program to allow veterans, the spouse of disabled veteran, or the surviving spouse of a deceased veteran to volunteer to provide services to the city and in exchange for such volunteer services, receive a reduction in the real property tax obligations of that veteran in addition to any other exemption of abatements to which the person is entitled based upon a credit determined at the rate of the current minimum wage per hour up to $1,000 in a given year. Adoption of this section will enable us to provide veterans the opportunity to work within city departments in exchange for an abatement on their property taxes or water bills. This program will be modeled after our senior citizen property tax work-off abatement program. Thank you for your consideration of these important initiatives. Regards, Brian M. Arrigo, Mayor. Calendar item number 23, pursuant to Council Order 19-072, this is a communication from the mayor relative to the appointment of Ms. Natalie Kong to the Board of Health dated April 1st, 2019. Dear council members, I am writing to request the city council consider the following appointment to the Board of Health in accordance with the provisions of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 111, Section 26, Ms. Natalie Kong for a three-year term expiring in April 2022. Regards, Brian M. Arrigo, Mayor. Calendar item number 24, pursuant to Council Order 19-073, this is a communication from the mayor relative to the appointment of rapid flow of Revere as a licensed drain layer. Dated April 1st, dear council members, please be advised in accordance with the provisions of Title 13, Chapter 13.08, Section 13.08.435 of the revised ordinances of the city of Revere is most recently amended. I hereby request that Rapid Flow Incorporated, the Revere, Massachusetts, Mark M. Meads, President, be appointed as a licensed drain layer in the city of Revere. Please take careful notice that all drain layer licenses expire on April 8th annually unless sooner revoked by the mayor and the council. Mr. Meads has been advised that he will be contacted directly by the appointments subcommittee with a date and time to appear before them concerning this reappointment. Regards, Brian M. Arrigo, Mayor. Calendar item number 25, pursuant to Council Order 19-074, this is a communication from the mayor relative to the appointment of Luigi Ciccone Masonry Construction of Revere as a licensed drain layer. Calendar item number 26, pursuant to Council Order 19-075, this is a communication from the mayor relative to the reappointment of JNA Contracting Services Incorporated of Chelsea as a licensed drain layer. Calendar item number 27, pursuant to Council Order 19-0075, 076. This is a communication from the mayor relative to the appointment of DM Civil Incorporated of Middleton, Massachusetts, as a licensed drain layer. Calendar item number 28, pursuant to Council Order 19 077. This is a communication from the mayor relative to the reappointment of R. Sasso and Sons Construction Incorporated of Revere as a licensed drain layer. Calendar item number 29, pursuant to Council Order 19 078. This is a communication from the mayor relative to the reappointment of Menino Construction Company of Lynn as a licensed drain layer. Calendar item number 30, pursuant to Council Order 19-079. This is a communication from the mayor 
relative to the reappointment of Ms. Diane Colella as election commissioner. Dated April 1st, 2019, dear council members, I am writing to request that the city council consider and approve the reappointment of Ms. Diane Colella of Revere, Massachusetts as election commissioner for a four-year term commencing April 1st, 2019. Calendar item number 31. Pursuant to Council Order 19-080, this is a communication from the mayor relative to the reappointment of Mr. Henry Mancini of Revere to the Revere Housing Authority, dated April 1st, 2019. Dear council members, I am writing to request that the city council consider and approve the following reappointment to the Revere Housing Authority, pursuant to Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 121B, Section 5, Mr. Henry Mancini of Revere, Massachusetts, for a five-year term expiring in 2024. And calendar item number 32, pursuant to Council Order 19-081, this is a communication from the mayor relative to the reappointment of J. Marchese and Sons of Everett as a licensed drain layer. This has been before the council, a reading of the Revere City Council agenda for the meeting of Monday, April 8th, 2019. I'm Rick Promise. And I'll see you at the council.